Welcome back to our live show. Known as the master of classical mythologies, Sandro Botticelli was one of the most famous and prolific artists of the Italian Renaissance. His paintings are on display, some for the first time in America, and they're right here in Virginia at the Muscarelli Museum. Uh, it, that is in on the campus of William & Mary in Williamsburg, the director of the Museum. Aaron DeGroft is here today to tell us more about this amazing opportunity to see this. Good morning and welcome back. How are you? Thank you. We're going to get an art lesson today. Who was Botticelli and why was he so famous then and now? He really was the star painter of the Medici in Florence, the golden age of the Florence Renaissance. And uh, he was incredibly famous in his own time. He was friends with Michelangelo and friends with Leonardo. And in fact, you're going to see a painting on the screen that was the most visited uh, picture in all of Florence during the Renaissance. What, what was that? It's a fresco painting from the Church of the Agnesanti, or All Saints, and it's, a, it's an image of St. Uh, Augustine, but it's painted on plaster. He had to paint it when the plaster was wet, so he had a limited amount of time. It's the same technique as Michelangelo painted in the Sistine ceiling. Oh, amazing. And the one thing that I noticed in doing some research about Botticelli was how large his, his paintings are. Especially his famous classical mythologies like the Birth of Venus and the Spring, which are national treasures found in the Uffizi Museum. There are very large pictures that were painted at his pinnacle of his fame. And like you said, th those are not on loan and we'll never see those unless we go to Italy. Right. You have to go to the Uffizi. They're, they're national treasures, so they won't, they're not allowed to be lent. But we do have a solitary Venus, which is derived from the birth of Venus. And it's one of only two remaining that he painted in his career. First time it's ever shown in the United States. What is that like for the museum to have something like that, that no one's ever seen here in this country before? Well, I think it's befitting of our great historic and prestigious university. I mean, William Mary is the oldest university. You could argue it's the oldest college. It's one of the great, great um, schools in America. And so we, we try to bring things that are ambitious and that can tell a story and weave together a narrative about some of these greatest artists in the history of the world. And one of the things I noticed is, is the title is Botticelli and the Search for the Divine, Florentine Painting Between the Medici and the Bonfires of the Vanities. Right. Bonfires of the Vanities, a lot of people say, oh, I saw that movie. Yeah. has nothing to do <laughs> no. with that. But that's kind of where it came from because you, they got rid of a lot of the things that were considered to be luxurious and sinful. That's right. After the fall of the Medici with the death of Lorenzo the Magnificent in, in, in 1492, the Medici family were literally thrown out of Florence through some political intrigue and some uh, bad negotiating with the French king. So this Dominican friar, a fiery preacher, Sabra Narola, uh, became the, the leader of, of Florence. And of course, he preached against excess. And they had two great fires in the piazza. It's called the Bonfires of the Vanities, where they burnt books and art and makeup and playing cards and, and all kinds of things associated with luxurious excess. And the thing that I read was that a lot of Botticelli's paintings were burned at that time. And then one thing I read said he burned them. So which, which was right. it? Do probably, we know? Probably both, unfortunately. Um, that's why there's only two of these Venuses left, and one of which is in Turin, Italy, that's now in the Muscarelli. And we'll go to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston because it was said that he himself threw his paintings on the fires. He was singled out as, a, as the kind of artist that should be punished in this way. What, one of the paintings we talked about, which is not in this exhibit, is, is uh, what, what's commonly known as Venus on the Half Shell. That's right, right. Well, the story of Venus is that she, she came to the shore of Scythera on a, on a scallop shell. She was, a great, of course, the, the goddess of beauty, and so she's a, a paragon of the divine in classical mythology. And that really sets apart these two parts of the career of Botticelli. His search for the divine during the Medici was painting all the classical mythologies and, and these things that were beautiful. And then the second half of his career, which is li much more little known, he was painting under the influence of this Dominican friar. So he painted very ascetic uh, religious scenes, Madonna and Childs, and, and things that harken more back to the medieval period than at the pinnacle of his career. How, how do we, as a, a visitor, um, come and, and fully enjoy this. Does, this tell, does the exhibit tell us a story? It does. That's one thing we pride ourselves on, that we, we develop a narrative thread. So what can you learn about this artist and his career? Instead of just throwing things out there in a shotgun approach, we try to weave the story. And this exhibition starts with uh, learning from his teacher, this Fra Filippo Lippi, who was the, the student of Masaccio, the guy who started the Renaissance in Florence. And then it shows Botticelli's uh, main career in our main gallery. And then the back of the, the exhibition is really about the end of his career and how his art changed to reflect this very tough sort of uh, Christianity. What does it mean for the Muscarelli to be able to host and present this to, to America, really? It's huge. I mean, we've been on, uh, we just had a major story in the Wall Street Journal yesterday, the whole back page. Um, all the, the, the large internet sites that talk about art and news, we uh, were ranked number one two weeks ago. And, and uh, Artnet News, which is uh, something that's very special. So it's, it's very meaningful. And then it's gonna go to our partner museum, the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston, which is really about the number five museum in the country.
So the only two places in America you can see right. this exhibit. Aaron, thank you so much for coming in and sharing a little bit about this. You want to go see this for yourself. It's called Botticelli and the Search for the Divine, Florentine Painting Between the Medici and the Bonfires of the Vanities. It's on display at the Muscarelli Museum of Art on the campus of William & Mary in Williamsburg through April 5th. Go to WTBR.com slash VTM. We'll put a link there to more details.